Hi. In this video, I'll show you how you can quickly start composing music using the Horuko app. When the app starts, the first thing you need to do is to create a new project. After tapping the plus button, you can enter the name of your project. Here, I'll create a project called My First Project. After clicking the Create button, you are presented with the main page that displays a set of chords for your chosen scale. The first thing you need to do is to select the mode of the scale you want to use. Here I'll keep the diatonic major, which is a default selection. Once that's done, I need to choose the root note of the scale by tapping this button on the top right. I'll pick F. What you can see now are all of the chords for each degree of the F major scale. On the bottom right of each chord icon, you'll see the degree of the chord within the scale in Roman numerals. The colour circle represents the mode of the chord. As you can see in the graphic, green represents major, purple minor and red diminished. The chords not in scale are visualised using a gradient colour which we'll see in a moment. On the bottom of the page, there is a timeline to which you can drag chords in order to create your chord progression. By tapping on each chord, you can play it and visualise it on the keyboard. These sound good, so I'll drag them onto my timeline. To play them in succession, you can use the play button on the bottom bar. There is also a restart button. I think it needs speeding up a little, so I'll change the tempo to 220. So now that I have my chosen chord progression and a good tempo, it's time to do some more in-depth editing of my chords to spice things up a little. Let me choose C. You can enter edit mode in two ways. One is through a long press, after which you are presented with a menu for editing or deleting the chord. Otherwise a quicker way is just to do a double tap. Here you can change the root note of the chords. The ones with the green circle are the ones in key. You can also change the quality of the chord. Here again, the green circle indicates that it remains in key. I'll choose minor. Now you see that the keyboard displays the out of key note in purple, and there is also information to inform you that the out of key note is E flat. Now let's edit the D chord. Here we'll add a seventh chord extension, and we'll explore the voicings panel. You can change the octave of each note within the chords. The right arrow moves the note up an octave and the left arrow down an octave. The copy button duplicates the note onto another octave and the delete button removes it. You can always look at the keyboard to see the position of your note. Let's listen to what we've created. As mentioned before, you can see that the C chord is a gradient colour because it's no longer in key. Horuka makes it very simple for us to test out the chord progression in a different key. If I choose the C major scale, you see that it automatically transposes my chords to this new key. OK, I'd say that we're done. All that remains is for us to save our project and to export it to a MIDI file so that we can edit it in our favourite digital audio workstation. This can be achieved by tapping the export button on the top right of the screen. If you don't want to export it immediately, you can swipe the screen to the right and see all of your saved projects in order to select another project created previously. Here, you can also delete projects using a long press. Thank you for listening and for choosing Horuko. Your feedback is always welcome, and please follow us on our social channels if you'd like to remain updated.